Hi there, my name is Peter Vox and I am the Director and Principal Teacher of Vox Singing Academy here in beautiful Melbourne, Australia. I have been a professional singing teacher since 1993. If you would like singing lessons with us, please check out the links below for more info. We have six studios here in Melbourne with both male and female singing teachers. Uh, we also offer online singing lessons seven days a week worldwide. And if face-to-face -face singing lessons aren't your thing, we also do offer the ultimate online singing course. So check that in the links below. If you like this channel, click like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please keep the comments going. I'm gonna be doing something a little bit left to center, something a little bit different. A couple of people have requested that I give my opinions to The Voice here in Australia. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, this is going to be very short, sharp, and precise. I'm not going to be reacting. We have um, a lot of videos on this particular channel where I react to. Um, so it's not going to be a reaction. It's just going to be an opinion on uh, the, the people that are singing. Um, and it's just my uh, personal opinion. And it's going to be very short, sharp, and sweet. Um, and I'll be doing this possibly. I'm going to just, I'm going to, pilot this and see how it goes and if the response is 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 good and positive I'll continue it to the to the to the finals um, but I'll just see how it goes I, I generally do a lot of react videos that uh, you can see which is uh, singing teacher reacts on this particular channel I do have another YouTube channel as well too called ask Vox singing Academy the five minute singer check that one out if you want a lot of free singing tuition and free tutorials and pretty much every subject to do with singing. There are hundreds of videos on there, so check that out as well too. Without any further ado, let's get stuck into it. Now, The Voice. It is season 10 of The Voice here in Australia. Um, so this is the 10th uh, year that it has been running. Um, and this is episode one. There will be three episodes here. Uh, and episode one ran on Sunday the 8th of April, which was last Sunday. And it was the first night of the blind auditions. Uh, so the blind auditions basically are where the four judges, which this year are Keith Urban, the amazing country Australian legend, um, absolutely amazing, obviously bigger in America than what he's, he's in here in Australia. The um, very amazing R&B, now nearly sort of going into a lot of dance stuff, uh, or dancier stuff guy, Sebastian, um, who actually got his break in Australian Idol uh, many, many moons ago. Um, Jess Malboy, uh, very soulful uh, Jess Malboy, and also the lovely um, UK artist Rita Ora, uh, again, another beautiful soulful voice as well too. So they're the four judges. Blind auditions are basically when the judges are not facing the artists, and uh, if they like the artist, they click their buzzer and they swing around and they can see the artist to see whether they want them on their team. So obviously the the whole premise of this at the moment is to try to get as many good artists on your team and obviously progressing through to the finals. So this is the first blind auditions. Um, and the first artist that performed for the night uh, was Soph Soph Sophia Watt. Um, and she sung uh, It's a Man's Man's World by James Brown. Um, Sophia, she was absolutely fantastic. Now they don't get a lot of time to sing. They generally only get about a minute to a minute and a half to two minutes they sing for. So it's generally sort of like a, a verse and a chorus or two cor a verse and a chorus and two choruses. Um, so the, the the songs are kind of cut back. So they really have to be able to present what they're singing and their voice in a very short amount of time. Sophia Watt um, sung absolutely fantastic, a beautiful, soulful voice, um, a great range, both higher and lower, um, a very attractive girl, and she's got a very uh, bright and bubbly personality, and I think that she will, will go far in, in this competition. Um, Rita Ora um, is her coach, so I think all of the, all of the judges turned, and she chose uh, Rita Ora. Um, yeah, she was she was absolutely fantastic. She was really good. the The next uh, contestant was uh, the, the next uh, singer was Olivia, um, Olivia 
Vasquez. Oh, I said that completely wrong. Sorry, uh, Not Sorry by Demi Lovato, uh, the very lovely Olivia Sung. Um, now, watching this as well too, she was, I think she called herself a plus size model. Um, and she is a true soprano. You can hear it in her voice. It, she really speaks up very high in her range. Um, predominantly used her middle to higher range through this song. She's got a great higher range, uh, great support, a really great, um, a great personality. Again, a very attractive girl. Um, she's she's got a, a really beautiful tone, great control, uh, and you know she could possibly go on uh, to to be a winner. So that's one of my predictions here already. She's um, an amazing talent. She was very nervous, um, and again, um, I, uh, uh, who was her judge? Who was her judge? Uh, Jessica Malboy, uh, actually. Um, she picked Jessica Malboy, um, which is, I think is an absolutely fantastic fit. The next uh, contestant, uh, the next singer contestant, <laughs> not in the game show, Pete. The next contestant um, is is quite close to my heart here. Um, he, with the three the the, the three episodes, um, he was. There was another rock guy, I think, in the last episode. Um, again, it's they're all sort of melding into one. And again, please, my apologies if I've mixed the order up here, or even possibly mixing up the days. I definitely know that this first day I was taking down a lot of notes on the first and second day, but I might have mixed up some of the actual order and, and, and possibly the days in the second and third day. So please excuse me with this. Darren Constable. He... Um, he's obviously an old school rock guy. He's 52, which is absolutely fantastic. Good to see that someone um, older is getting a bit of a chance uh, with this, this competition here as well too. He sung um, A Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival and absolutely knocked it out of the park. Did a fantastic, a fantastic job. Did a little bit of a different, had a bit of a harp intro and then sort of played guitar. Um, he's got a great range. Um, as I said, comes from a little bit of a different angle. He, you can see he's a seasoned and a veteran performer. He was very comfortable up there, um, and a really a great singer, great range. Rocky just belted it out and sort of gave it to it. Um, and yeah, he's he's judge um, that turned. Oh, they, I think they all turned. Uh, but I think the judge that uh, he chose was Keith Urban, which I think is going to be a great fit. I think they're really going to be able to work a lot because they're, they're very well suited to each other. I also just want to have a big shout out here as well too, to uh, Mick Marshall and, and the boys from Death, Death Replica, which is a, a Death Leopard cover band here here in Melbourne, Australia. Um, uh, absolutely fantastic band. Check them out if uh, they tour around Australia. And uh, Darren is actually the uh, the lead singer of, of that particular band. So go and check them out when they're uh, in, a, in a town next to you. Okay, the next performer that performed was Drew Walker. Now, Drew sung uh, down Under by Men at Work, the classic Australian song. She was absolutely fantastic. Sung behind the piano, so sort of was a little bit sort of probably held back, but really great potential, great range, very powerful voice. She didn't really have her posture that straight, but she really had a lot of power, great control on her voice. Um, very nice looking girl. Um, should go far in this competition if she can get her uh, confidence up. I thought that she was absolutely fan fantastic as well too. Again, chose Keith Urban as well too, so she's in Team Keith. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolute, she was she was really great. Um, a lot of um, a lot of potential. We really like to see her mouth work more, especially laterally. I think she's got a lot of potential to possibly go deep into this if she gets her mouth working and polishes some of her skills. The next uh, performer was uh, Joey Chan, and she was just a a pocket rocket. She was a live wire, and it was really fun watching her perform. Um, I. I think Joey was in her early 50s as well too. She sung Let's Get Loud by Jennifer Lopez. Just rocked it, had a great time, great personality, great dancer. Um, 
she's got a she had a nice voice she stayed in tune she had a, a really nice beautiful tone I was waiting for her to do something a little bit different with the song possibly have a key change or do some fancy notes but she really just kind of played it straight and just sung the song the same um, and that's probably why none of the judges turned, unfortunately. Um, though I think that she, part of me, would have an absolutely fantastic career being in a corporate band, um, doing corporate functions or a cover band, doing more of the sort of upmarket, um, as I said, corporate functions and different different things like that, or, or upmarket um, venues, uh, pubs and clubs and things like that. Uh, she's absolutely fantastic. Just just great. She'd be a great asset to anyone's band and I hope hopefully that she has a, has some sort of career in the future and makes some money out of out of her singing because she definitely deserves it and uh, just a, a great personality and I think she's going to be a great front woman in, in a band as well too because people are going to feel really relaxed and resonate with her and she's uh yeah, she's great. Unfortunately, no judges turned. The next performer, Byron uh, Byron is a, is a young plumber and he sung Lewis Capaldi Before You Go. Um, you can tell he was extremely nervous. A, a very young man, I think he was only 18 or 19. Um, beautiful tone, uh, nearly sort of a feminine sort of tone. Great range, great control, very nervous, um, nicely in and out of falsetto. Shy personality. If he can get some confidence and get some good training and get his chops up, get his mouth working, I think he's going to go go a long way in his career, even in the future, if he doesn't go all the way through to the voice. Um, he chose um, uh, Team Sebastian, Guy Sebastian, so that's who, who he chose. The last performer that I'm going to go over here, I don't think it was the last performer of the night, but this girl... She was the one that has blown me away so far, and as I said I've watched already the other series, the other two series as well too. This girl blew me away. Her name is Bella Taylor Smith, and she sung Ave Maria by by Beyonce. I was, whew, yeah. Look, I'm a singing teacher, and I was, I was really blown away by her. Amazing range, amazing tone. Great tone down, down low, also up high as well too, and the middle range. Um, yeah, she was she was absolutely fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see how she goes with some different songs. Um, but she was sorry about that trash. There, she's not trash. Um, she she was absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, possibly could go deep and, and possibly win this competition. Um, she chose Guy Sebastian um, after Guy Sebastian blocked Jessica Malboy. So a little bit of a dog act there by by the guy man. Because um, I think she probably would have gone with uh, Jessica. Um, but anyway, that is my wrap up there for episode one of the Blind Auditions. If you like my reaction, if you have any comments, please put them in the comments below if you agree with what I've said or don't agree. Um, Please keep it positive. I'm trying to build up a great community here, especially amongst my React videos. Uh, so please keep it positive, keep it nice. And uh, if you have any suggestions, if you want something else, want me to do something else or go into more in depth, I can I can do that. But I like to keep this even shorter. I think I, I waffled on a little bit. Um, but please keep your comments. If you like, if you do like it, click like and subscribe. Uh, give us a like. And as I said, if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honored. Box Singing Academy has been established since 1993. Um, I'm 107 years old. No, um, we have six studios here in Melbourne, uh, both male and female uh, teachers offering face-to-face -face private singing lessons. Also, we offer face-to-face -face private singing lessons online seven days a week if you're not here in, in Melbourne. And if you're not wanting face-to-face -face lessons, we do offer the ultimate online singing course. Check out the links below for more info. Until the next video, be good to each other, enjoy your singing, and live every day like it's your last. Peace and much love.